how to crochet the dogwood motif. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Webs, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Raspberry Heather. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, double crochet, and a cluster. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain of five, and then we'll join that in the round with the slip stitch. Round one, we're going to begin by chaining three, and this is going to count as our first double crochet. Then we are going to do four double crochets into our ring. Then we're going to chain four. And we're going to start our repeat by doing five double crochets into our ring. And we'll finish up our repeat by chaining four. So we're going to repeat that sequence two more times. And then we'll join in the, with a slip stitch at the top of our beginning chain three. Alright, so after we finished our last repeat, we're just going to join in the round in with a slip stitch into the third chain from our beginning chain. And that will finish the round. Round two, we're going to begin by chaining three. Then we're going to do a four double crochet cluster over the next four double crochets. So these are the four double crochets. We'll yarn over, insert our hook, and draw through. Then we'll yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw through two. Now we got three loops on our hook. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw through, yarn over and draw through two. And we'll do that one more time. So that's going to give us five loops on our hook. We'll yarn over and draw through all five loops. Like so. Next we're going to chain seven. This has actually started our repeat here. Now we'll do a single crochet into the next four chain space. So that's this one right here. Then we're going to chain seven again. Now we're going to do a five double crochet cluster into the next five double crochets. 
So just like the one we did before, but only we're adding another double crochet. Basically, we're just not going to complete the second set of two loops on the double crochet for each of these. And then we'll finish up by doing one through all of them. So it doesn't really matter how many you do. This is You would do this for any cluster stitch. Just depends on how wide you want to make it. So we'll yarn over and draw through all of the loops on our hook and that will finish up our repeat. So we're going to repeat this sequence two more times. Alright so now we've come to the end of our repeat. We've done another set of seven chains, a single crochet and seven more chains and we're just going to finish up by doing a slip stitch into the top of our cluster from the beginning of our round and that will finish up this round. Round three, we're going to begin by chaining one. Then we're going to do nine single crochets into the next chain seven space, this one right here. And this will start our repeat. Alright, that should be nine there. And we're going to repeat this sequence in each chain seven space all the way around until we get to the end of our round. And to finish up our round, we're going to do a slip stitch into our first stitch. And then we can break our yarn and weave in our ends. So that's how you crochet the dogwood motif. Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.